All right, everyone. So everybody's talking about last night's game and Florida State losing. You know, Twitter was going, or X, right, was going crazy with talk of DJ and others on Florida State because they're now 0-2, and it's not like they lost to, like, you know, Georgia and Alabama. Um, but I don't actually think that's even the story of last night's game. It's certainly a big deal that a team that was probably going to be in the, you know, um, college football playoff last year, if their quarterback didn't get hurt, is starting out 0-2. That's a big deal. But I think there's a bigger story here, and that story is the play of Boston College. Because when I was watching last night's game, and, you know, you can go on X and see the different missed throws by DJ, or you can see the, you know, missed tackles or the missed plays on defense by Florida State, but it doesn't tell the story of if you watch the entirety of the game. Because it was much more than errors made on the part of Florida State it was just the play of Boston College. You watch this game, the Boston College had dominated the line of scrimmage. He had guys in his face on DJ on every single play it felt like. He was rushed constantly. He was never really being able to sit back there and really do things. Um, the running game, it felt like they were fighting for every single yard they had to get. Like it was every, you know, like getting a first down was like hiking up a mountain. It just felt so much to overcome. And that's not something that you see usually when you have a team that's less talented beating a team that's more talented. You know, you could see sometimes, okay, the team didn't show up to play, but you really can put it on that team's performance. That didn't look like that last night. That looked like Boston College was dominating the line of scrimmage on both ends on a few of those really key third and fourth downs. I mean, the cornerbacks of... Boston College were all over these receivers. There was just nowhere for anybody to go with the ball. And on the other side, every time Florida State attempted to answer, Boston College came down and answered themselves. So was it certainly bad play by Florida State? Of course. But I, I do think you have to understand that we have to give credit at some point to Boston College for what they did. Meaning we can't just chalk this up to, well, this team's bad. Florida State's bad. That's it. That's it. No. You, you, there was a team on the other side that dominated in almost every facet of the game. And I think that should be called out equally as much as kind of the talk about Florida State because Boston College could be a big-time threat this year. If they could dominate teams, and I'm not talking score-wise, I'm talking controlling that line of scrimmage, you know, playing the way they did, having a run game, having a pass game. If they could do that against the vast majority of the teams this season, look out for Boston College. It could be one hell of a team to play. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.